Hey guys, Umar here. We are very excited to present our guest tutor for today, Dr. Rizaimi, who will be sharing with you guys how to draw a perspective very much like this. So stay tuned. Hi there. Uh, today I would like to talk about how to draw a perspective using an imaginary box. Imaginary box. It's a very simple concept where everybody can use this. Uh, if you don't know how to draw, you may use this concept uh, to make you know how to draw perspect uh, perspective using a simple methods. We start with horizon line. This is a, a standards of uh, perspective. Is this is horizon line? Is our eye level? The next is you need to have a reference objects, uh, human kind of. If you don't know how to draw humans, then draw like my, like me. And the next thing is you have to have a reference plan so you have a grid something like that and then you decide where you want to put your vanishing point before that you have to know what is the size of um, ground line that you are going to do so based on the uh, the human figure that I've done uh, this is about 1.5 1.5 more or less 3 meters away 3 meters ground line so then I decided to put my vanishing point at the center of that so that will be there so now you have a, a an area the size of three meters time you don't know the depths then then i want to decide what is the depth i decided from here to here is three meters i decide so you have an area of three meters time three meters and then you also want to decide the height of this area I decided from here is 1.5 another 1.5 that means I have an area of 3 meters 3 meters so now you have a box imaginary box size of 3 meters time 3 meters that with a height of 3 meters Okay, then what I'm going to do next is so far. So you know what is the height of so far? Normally, let us say we have 0 0.75 heights of the sofa. From here to here, no, from here to here, you know that is 1.5. Then we go for half of that is 0 0.75. And then we took another, this is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. We, we took another one meter there. So that is the sofa size. You bring in that line. And then what is the size of sofa? You decide more or less two meters. You bring in that line. Then you have the sofa size of one meter more or less with a height of 0 0.75 with a depth of two meters. And then from that, you want to have a, a carpet. So then you have that one. Then I have that one. So you guess what is the size of the carpet? The size of the carpet is 0 0.5 plus one meter is more or less about 1.5 meter times 1.5 meters from that you want to have a tv cabinets what is the size of suitable tv cabinets i decided that 900 not 900 about 750 i think from here is 500 a uh, let us say it's 500 mm so that is the 500 mm with a height of more or less 600 then we go to have that so that is your tv cabinets next i would like to draw a television a tv screen so the height of a tv screen is more or less that then that is another so if i ask you what is the height of this tv uh, screen is more or less 900 because if you compare from here to here it's more or less one to one 900 to one meters so that is the thing so I would like to have a picture frame somewhere there. So that is another picture frame. That is a picture frame. Don't worry much about this line. It will disappear once you draw the bigger lines out of that. There are no thicker lines. So I like to have a door somewhere there. And then I would like to have another cabinet somewhere there. So you don't know where it stops that you can be a reference there so that is your more or less room 
So now we start putting details on each object. Remember, we we do we draw this based on imaginary box. So there's a lot of imaginary boxes that you have to fill in. Now you agree that this one is a sofa. You want to draw a sofa, then you start draw a sofa inside here. So that is the the sofa. So I draw this one, so that is the, then you have this uh, back seat of that, so this one is, okay now you draw the detail, the picture frame, you have that, then you have that, put something inside here, there's a scenery somewhere there, that is the street, that is, no, there is the stream, so there's four birds inside there, so that's a trees, and then you know, if you don't like a boxy uh, furniture, you may change that into something like this. Everything must refer to the box, so it becomes like that, a curve cabinets. Then you can put something that you like. There's a book inside there, so that is a book. Then that is your, sorry, that is your cabinets. Next is to detail up the carpets. So everything, then you have that. So you can go like that for the details of the carpets. And then if you, uh, this is a box for your TV cabinets. I like it to be like this. I draw that. Everything must be based on imaginary box. So that is the thing. It goes like that. It goes like that if you want. So everything refer to imaginary box again. So of course the TV is going to have to be square or rectangle, so that is your TV screen. Next is to detail out the door, so that is the door. What is the height of the door? You know that from here to here is 1.5, more or less is 2.2 meter height based on the, the reference, so that is your door. Okay, then I detail out the, the room. So you have a bigger room from there, and there, and there. Okay, what's next? Then you detail up the, your door. So put something that you like. Don't have, don't have really follow me. You may use whatever that pattern that you want to draw inside that, that door. It is up to you. So that is the handle of the door. So put something. Uh, you may render the, the wall. So that is the the wall characters of your room so that is your floor that is your floor okay then you you want to have something here maybe another uh, pictures frame then you have that picture frame there and draw something from that whatever abstract drawing that you want to put and make it there and then you have a you can render the ceiling put something inside there so that is your plaster ceilings and then with features so that is the thing uh, this is the overall uh, views uh, is, is very easy right using imaginary box just now you can rewind the video if you want to see where we start and then where we finish now if you look carefully the drawings is very uh, the, the, the drawing is uh, the most important things in drawings you must to have proportion good proportion well, sorry Pro proportion a good perspective must have a good proportion that means the scale this the scale must be right so where we did where we make a reference we make reference from this human figure so that's why the overall outcome of these sketches look good because of the reference from this figure 
So please be, please remember when you want to start a perspective, you must have a reference objects here. And then next is you have to have a box. Remember that I show you before. So there's a box that got that help you to draw the sofa. The box also helps you to draw this furniture. The box also help you to draw these objects. So remember, if you want to draw a very good perspective, start with imaginary box and then always remember reference objects. I think that's all for this video. Maybe we, I will see you later another another interesting video. Thank you. Well, that was awesome. Hope you guys liked that. Now let us know what you think. And also if you have any questions regarding the tutorial for Dr. Rizami, feel free to let us know in the comments below. And thank you so much to Dr. Rizami for dropping by and sharing your tips. You can click here to check out more stuff from his channel. To watch more videos from us, click here and click here to subscribe if you haven't already yet. Thanks for watching.